We have new developments to tell you about in that horrific crash that claimed two lives on the Grand Parkway last month. The driver that caused the pileup, Charles Glaze, is now behind bars charged with manslaughter. Our senior reporter Phil Archer was on the scene the day of that deadly crash, and he's been following every development along the way. He joins us live now with what he's uncovered about Glaze's history. Phil? And Bill, on that day, Glaze told investigators a seizure caused him to lose control of his truck. He has a history of seizures. But prosecutors are saying now because of that, he shouldn't even have been driving. And they're not convinced that's all there is to it. They're looking into possibility that that terrible wreck was actually a suicide attempt. Charles Glaze was arrested shortly after a Harris County grand jury returned two manslaughter indictments against him today. He caused a horrific wreck on the Grand Parkway last month when he hit a guardrail with his truck, crossed the median, and slammed into half a dozen oncoming cars. Two drivers, Linda Fugetti and Michael Brown, were killed. Glaze told police he'd had a seizure that caused him to lose control of his truck. I have evidence that dates back well past 10 years that he's been suffering from seizures. But prosecutors say now that means Glaze legally should not have been driving. They're also pursuing evidence that the crash may have actually been a suicide attempt by Glaze. Just minutes before, he'd had a meeting with his probation officer. He was already on bond facing aggravated kidnapping and robbery charges for allegedly trying to abduct a grieving Montgomery County mother from a cemetery. You can't be driving 95 miles an hour the wrong way on 99 and driving into cars. When that happens, something is wrong. And so he either suffered seizures or he just deliberately drove into the wrong lanes at 95 miles an hour for whatever reason. Glaze was already facing a potential life sentence on the kidnapping charge. He could now be facing up to 40 additional years in prison if he's convicted on the manslaughter indictments. He's being held now in the Montgomery County Jail. Reporting live from the Harris County Courthouse, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News. Phil, thank you.